my blood sugar this morning was 216. Oh, that sucks. I had not seen a two in such a long time. I ate this crap probably like at 10 o'clock at night. I'm not sure how much time has passed since I ate that crap. But I was still drinking the fruit punch. <laughs> right up until the time I went to bed. It might just be that there's not enough time to actually consider it fasted. But whatever. It's crap. So, duh. Of course my blood sugar is going to be that high. And I didn't exercise yesterday. So... Oh well. Right after breaking through the 260s too. So I wonder. Hmm. I better keep an eye on myself this week. I did it. I walked out of Costco with no sugar. Oh my gosh. I honestly did not think that I was going to. Actually, I had made the decision that I wasn't going to. I saw the um, the sample ladies with their samples and was like, oh yes, I'm getting some of those. Um, but every time I walked past them, their trays were empty. So I'm wondering if the universe was kind of helping me a bit there. I spent most of the time walking around trying to figure out what I was going to grab to take with me that I could eat in the car on my way home. You know, donuts or croissants or whatever any kind of bread or was I gonna drive through I was trying to decide what kind of crap I was gonna get I think it was probably because I withdrew from one of my colleges today and it's really bittersweet um, I think it's the best thing to do I honestly do but I'm really bummed about it. Uh, so there was probably some kind of emotional eating about to happen right then. Um, but as I got to the produce section, I saw cauliflower. And so then I started trying to talk myself into just sticking to non-sugary foods. You know, Even if they're like sugar-free junk. Like I told myself I could eat a whole bag of sugar-free chocolate if I wanted to. I wouldn't because then I'd be in pain. But um, I just kept telling myself that I can eat whatever I want as long as it's on plan. I can eat as m much as I want as long as it's not sugar, not bread, not, pr not trigger foods. And it actually worked. And I did it. I walked out of Costco without any trigger foods after I had already decided that I was going to get some. <sighs> that was tough. Okay, good. We are back under 200. I'm sure had I not managed to change my mind at Costco, I would have been well over 200 again this morning. So, under 200. This isn't going to work. I was trying to figure out the modifications for myself for the next workout. With my hernia, I am not physically capable of doing. The moves are, are compound, are so compound that I just, I can't adjust them for myself. So, I probably won't get to do this until after I get my hernia fixed. I have no idea when that's going to be. Um, that'll, that'll be my goal. Once I get my hernia fixed, once I get the all clear from the hernia doctor, I will start Body rev Revolution again and actually do it to the DVDs. So now I have to pick something else to do because I need some direction if I just keep not having a list of what it is that I have to do I will just keep doing like 10 and 20 minute cardio sessions and that's not gonna get me anywhere 145 this morning so this will have to wait till after I have healed from hernia surgery 
But still, I made it four weeks. That's the furthest I've ever made it when I, whenever I tried to start this program. So I'm proud of that. I looked around for another program to do and I just kept feeling like I would come to the same kind of roadblock that I did with this one. That there would come a point where the exercises were just not safe for me to do with my hernia. The only ones that seemed like I could get all the way through them were size, which I already have and I don't want to do again, and Zumba, which I don't want to spend money on. I've done Zumba at the gym and I didn't really care for it. Um, so I looked around, what do I have that I can possibly do? I am going with classic Jane Fonda. Oh yes, on tape. So I made myself this little chart. It's just four weeks um, of rotations. This workout is designed to be done complete. It's a complete workout, or you can split it into two classes. It's got the upper body first, and then half hour aerobics, and then lower body. So you can do the whole thing, which unfortunately I do not have time to do before work and still get a shower. Um, or you can split it and do the first part, which is upper body, then the cardio, and then the second class would be cardio and lower body. Um, so that's what I've split it into here. I took screenshots from the intro. So this one stands for upper body. And this one stands for lower body. And then this one is cardio. So I basically just did it upper, lower, cardio, upper, lower, cardio, and then rest. I only did four weeks. Hopefully before then I can figure out what I'm going to do next. If I figure out something else before the whole four weeks, that would be fine with me too. I'm not looking to complete this but I will complete it or start something else. 138, okay. I'm not exercising this morning. I started meal prep yesterday. Today is Sunday, so I definitely have to finish and deal with my kitchen. I have to prioritize that otherwise I won't finish and it'll completely throw my week off. Um, hopefully I'll get to it later today but if I don't I'm gonna have to be okay with that. As expected my average blood sugar for this week was much higher than it was for last week. That's a relief. I was really worried, especially after um, my blood sugar being so high and the average of my blood sugar being so much higher than last week. Um, I am down half a pound. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm still content with how the week went. Even though it started off on a bad note, I was able to turn it around, which is rare. One thing that I want to work on for next week is my water intake. I did okay. I got a lot of water in, but I didn't actually, um, I don't think once, maybe once, I hit the actual goal. So that is what I'm going to be working on this coming week.